Hey guys, happy Monday. I have not been on here. I uh, just, it's been so busy today. It's five o'clock already. Um, I just finished a posing session with Pamela all the way from DR. I'm so excited. It's so cool to see everyone's progress, like when you don't see them every day. Um, I am about to have my next meal and then I'm going to do my workout. It's leg day and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that excited, but I do owe you guys a, a little bit of a, not an explanation, but like a live. I do wanna come on here and talk about all of the different things that I'm doing starting today. I am five weeks out and uh, Ralph changed not just my food, but also my workouts and the way that everything is structured and it's going to be a kick in the ass for the next five weeks, but I'm ready, I'm excited and um, I am gonna be coming on here to share it all with you guys. Good thing I rewatched that because it completely uh, cut me off. It always does. Anyway, I am making my tuna right now. I despise canned tuna, but I do love fresh tuna. I also got, look how fun this is. I went to Trader Joe's today and I got this Japanese seasoning. It seems like there's like seaweed and sesame seeds and so I'm gonna try that. But anyway, I get these tuna steaks and I, marinate it in soy sauce and mirin, which is sweet cooking rice wine <laughs> vinegar or whatever it is. But anyway, it tastes good. And um, what I'll do is I just sear it. I don't like fully cook it. I'll put it on a hot frying pan with just spray on it. And I'll just sear the outsides of it and inside it's still pretty raw and I'll eat that. I love that, super high in protein, there's no fat. So it's awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this really quick. Will you look at that? Perfect, four ounces. All right, here we go. i me take you guys along with me since I haven't been here today. All right, we're just gonna let that do its thing. Right, so this is the Trader Joe's seasoning. It says sprinkle on rice, eggs, ramen, fish, popcorn, popcorn. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, any food. It looks, not gonna lie, a little bit like fish food, but it's all good. Here's my tuna. You see how it's like getting that cooked on the outside like that? I'm gonna flip it. Let's see how this goes. All right, perfect. The goal is lit for me is literally to just have like a small amount cooked and most of it raw. I like it like that personally. But anyway, there you have it guys. And I'm gonna take you in my freezer. I know, look at Junior, I'm so jealous. He's got all the good stuff in here. I stocked up on this brown rice. I hate brown rice, but this one is so good. And it's from Trader Joe's. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy my tuna with it. I'm really cleaning things up this week. And so white rice does not sit that well for me personally. There's nothing wrong with white rice. The calories and the carbs are pretty much the same. It's just a preference thing. Anyway, pop this in the microwave. That looks like it's almost done. And we have a meal. So what I'm going to do here is add some of this ginger to the side. I love pickled ginger. I'm gonna need both my hands. And sprinkle some of this on top. I should probably try it before sprinkling, but let's see. Wow, that is a big spout. All right, here we go. Whatever pose you'd like. If you wanna go here, if you wanna go here, if you wanna go here, it doesn't matter. Pose okay. here, switch if you're still waiting, and then you'll hear, you know, number whatever, Pamela Rodriguez, and that's when you walk forward, and that's when okay. you start. That's when you start okay. your routine, okay? okay? So, let's see the full thing. So the center, okay. the side, and then the other side. Good, perfect. One, two, three. And yes, and then you walk away. Yay! That's the whole thing. That's the whole okay. thing. When you go from here to the back, down, oh, then yeah. up. So both down, okay. both up, or one up, one down. It doesn't matter which one you do, just make okay. sure that they're different. I'm losing myself tonight. I'm losing myself. I'm losing.
Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I am getting ready to pose. It's 7.40. I just finished teaching a class. I had a really busy day with a lot of errands and so I got my workout in earlier but I didn't get my posing or my cardio. So that's about to happen right now. I'm not in the mood. I'm pretty hungry because today is my low carb day, which literally feels like no carb. So I'm low in energy. My stomach has that hunger feeling. So I can't wait to finish this posing and this cardio so that I can go have my last meal with lots of veggies and a Diet Coke so that I can feel full. I love this part, you guys. This is like crunch time. This is where you see all the magic happens. Anyway, obviously I don't do this, this part of the journey year round. There are phases to the journey and this is the first time this whole year that I'm actually experiencing hunger or being in, in a deficit like this. So it's all good. It's all part of it. It's all exciting. And right now, even though I'm not in the mood, I have to get in my zone and do the best I can with all of this. I have to uh, get in my zone and kick ass with this posing and kick ass with this cardio. And um, that's it, you guys. Then I can eat and I can sleep. <laughs> and tomorrow's another day to have more carbs and life is good again. Anyway, here we go. Exciting. Oh my 
It's like Christmas. I know. Almost better. Oh. Oh, Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Look bad. My hair was like disastrous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird because I'm always recording myself. Okay. Hi guys. So I wanted to <laughs> record him. He's hiding. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to share my ceviche recipe with you guys. I posted my ceviche the other day, and a few people asked me for the recipe. Full disclaimer: I am not really fully aware of what I'm doing. I Googled a couple things, I tried a couple things, it came out really good, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Uh, so I have red onions, cilantro, and lime. That's literally the only thing that goes in it, aside from all the seafood. So, last time I did it with shrimp only. This time we are throwing some other things in there. So, let's see this. First thing we're gonna add is some scallops. I always smell it, make sure it's good, it smells really good. So I'm gonna add some of these in here. You can use whatever fish you want. Like I said, I did it with just shrimp the other day and it was delicious, but we figured we'd spice it up this time. Okay. We also got some calamari. We're gonna put which turns out is has really good macros, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Alright. So I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm so excited for this. This is a lot. Okay, I got this all still a little frozen. Okay. Then we are going to add some <laughs> shrimp to this mix. And I'm also going to add some swai. So, I'm gonna take all of the shells off the shrimp. This is gonna take me fucking 10 years. <laughs> Why do I always buy the shrimp that isn't already done for you? Who has time for this? Oh my God, let's pretend that's not there. Gross. You know they say this is like the roaches of the sea. Let's not think about that. Anyway, so shrimp, scallops, calamari, or squid and swai. And then I'm gonna get it all in here. And then what I'm going to do is put in our red onions, chopped, lots of lime juice, some cilantro. You guys literally have never made ceviche in my life till the other day. I've eaten it plenty of times. <laughs> that counts. All right, we are done with the shrimp. Now, we're going to chop up some swai. Oh, look at that. Two fillets, perfect. All right, I'm gonna cut these. Clearly, I'm no chef. My knife skills. This is still kind of frozen. Okay. That would have sucked. <laughs> that would have changed the course of this video. Now, we have all of that in there. First, we're gonna lime it up. So let's see how many limes we need for this thing. Pretty sure all of those, honestly. Okay. I'm gonna use this thing, but you can always just squeeze it. Honestly, like it's just this much stuff because of how much of it I'm making. If the other day when I made the shrimp, it was very simple. It was a bag of shrimp and just 
squeeze some limes in there and it was a lot smaller, but I figured I'm gonna make it this time. Get it all out. Let's see here. So I'm gonna put the, the other two limes, but since this is gonna sit for 24 hours or more, I'll have to go in and stir from time to time just to get it all coated. Now what we're gonna do is chop up the red onions. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Bring this close to me. So I'm going to chop up these onions pretty thin. And then again this way. And again, because I'm making such a big pot of it is why it's taking longer and why it seems more elaborate, but it's very easy. You can literally do onion, cilantro, lime, and one fish, and you're in business. You know what? I'm gonna get another spoon. I do not like onions, but this has to happen here for flavor. See that shrimp is already starting to cook. So now, so that was a whole onion for the amount that I have there. I'm not gonna eat that. Now we're gonna chop up sort of chop up the cilantro. I actually put it whole last time, but again, it was a lot smaller. It's like sort of chopped, I guess you could say. I think I needed a bigger container. This was the biggest one I found today. Ah, I'm losing things. Mm -hmm. You know what? Hold on. <laughs> this is too deep it's not wide enough so i'll have to put it back there but at least here i can stir it get everything evenly coated So, like I said, right now I'm going to cover this and refrigerate, but every, you know, few hours, like tonight before I go to bed, tomorrow in the morning, I'll just come and I'll do a little stir, and we're good to go. That's it. Honestly, and still, when you're going from here and you're turning to the side, bringing it down, like make that a part of your transition. If you're here, the moment you start shifting your legs, you start bringing down the arms, like make that big, right? That's why I like the walk forward. Like I like when you walk, to say hi. I like when you walk forward and you go up because it makes it so big, you know? Yeah, go. Yes. Yes, yes. And you should really, really take your time. Uh, the only thing is that I know that right now your main focus is remembering the moves. Come forward, you get there, right away, slowly, yes. All right, you guys, let's talk about how fucked up this is right now. Okay, excuse my language. Look at where we are and um, cannot eat any of it. Cannot eat any of it. You guys, hold on. Look. I mean, come on. Come on. Why? Why? Huh? Why? 
Why? Why? <laughs> Is it good? Why are you doing that? That's so weird. Junior! <laughs> it's going to be super easy, okay? So, right there, what you see is two cups full of white glue and then a cup of shaving cream. And all of that glue is all for you. We'll pour it all in, okay? Make sure you mix in all the glue. You just stir up our soup. What do you have there? Yeah. 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 Cool. And then it's gonna like drop down. It's gonna stick to it and it's gonna drop down. Yeah, and then it's gonna look cool. Let's go. Yeah. Now uh, stick your hands in it. driving it? Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. You think it's okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Open hands. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Is it weird? Yeah. You want me to put it on your hands? in the rest area. <laughs> you wanna wait with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm such a chicken. I'm okay with it. I haven't, I haven't seen a corn yet. I feel like we're just going more and more deep into this situation, and it's so uncomfortable. Weird. I was not born for this. Oh, thank God. Neither was my son. So he, he wants to finish. Yeah, me we too. were gonna find the end. The end is where we started. It ends there. Starts and ends there. This would be cool at night. That's what I want. It wouldn't. It's not cool during the day either. This would be cool never. We could live in there. We could build a house with food. We could make corn clothing. <laughs> or we could stay home and shop on Amazon. Don't mess with the leaves, babe. That's how the animals come out. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Don't even. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> I would never know how to get out of here. Oh my god, there's so many big animals. Why? What the fuck? Oh, it's like tape. Oh it's a god. person. <laughs> it was tape. <laughs> and they wanted, they wanted. Don't. Hi guys. Happy Monday. Say hi, babe. We are on our walk. What time is it? 8.26. I'm loving this new time change because I feel like I have more time in my day, at least now, for the first few days. It's November, you guys. It's show month. And I am so excited for all that is happening in the next few weeks. I was a little MIA last week. It's so hard sometimes to get everything done and record but we're back right we're back bitches but we didn't skip we didn't skip just I just, yeah exactly but we are back to recording everything has been happening behind the scenes it's nice and chilly today it feels like fall i'm so excited hey guys here we are in the tanning booth how cool is this i hadn't seen this before where you can like change inside the booth Anyway, this is tan number one. I have lots of them to do in the next four weeks, so here we go. If you like the way I talk, then why am I on your mind? If you like the way I rock, then finish your glass of wine. We fight and we argue. Touch the sky, but you ain't got shit on me. Cause I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Happy Tuesday. So, we are 25 days out from my show. And we have officially hit the very first zero carb day. Last week I had two low carb days. But this week, my Tuesday and Thursday, is zero carbs. So my first meal is going to be three whole eggs and two slices of turkey bacon. The only carbs I'm having right now is the sugar in my coffee, but at least I get to still have that. Let's see it. I'm right here. You gotta, you gotta look forward. You gotta look forward where you're going. <laughs> you wanna race? Like you wanna foot with me and bike? <laughs> you wanna race? Not really. Please. 
Okay. Ready? Three, Set. Three, go. Two, <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> What is the problem? I don't know what to do. That's rough. I fell for fools. Gold, what did I know? What did I know? I fell for fools. I'm recording you for YouTube. <laughs> You're recording me? Because the stuff that you say is really funny. <laughs> Good, man. Last one, baby. Last set, best set. <laughs> Last set, best set, baby. Slow down on the way down. There. Good. Up, up, boom, slow. Good. Up, up, up. Slow. Good. How many was it? Eight. Eight. I know it's eight. I did eight. When I started. You were right here. Let me try this. Try it again. Up, slow. Whoa. <laughs> what do you mean? When did that happen? I've been doing this for like 10 years. You've been doing it for I've 10 years? I've never done it this long. This is stupid, right? It's so stupid. How many days? Slow. I'm like, what? When did this happen? When did you change this exercise? Good. Up. More sets. <laughs> it's four. <laughs> this is three. I have one. You counted the first one? What are you talking about? <sighs> I'm worried about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do the right counts. You do it perfect? I do it perfect. I don't know how to count. You don't know how to count. Up. <sighs> Seven. Come on, one more. When you get to eight, I want four quick uh -huh. ones. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi guys, 
happy Wednesday. I feel like this is the easiest place for me to come talk to you guys when I'm driving. Ah, because I'm by myself usually and we can just chat. Okay, so woke up super early today. I'm really loving this new time or this time change and got a walk in, got my workout in, prepped some food, taught a class and uh, now I am heading to get my tan. I'm trying to do it three to four days a week from now until show day. And then I have the sex second session of my peel for my face. So I'm going to do that right after. And then we'll continue on with the afternoon. I wanted to get my workout in early because I won't be able to do it after my facial. So that's that you guys. I'm feeling really, really, really good. Um, I'm three weeks out. Well, I'll be three weeks out this weekend. So about 24 days. Um, my diet has been amazing because even though it's less food, it's so, so funny how quickly you adjust to that. I was really hungry at first and then I was fine. So I have Tuesdays and Thursdays are my zero carb days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have some carbs. A good amount actually and then Saturday and Sunday just depends on how I look and then truthfully you know every weekend we reassess and we see how I look and, and we make those calls or Rob makes those calls so I feel great uh, I'm starting to see the shifts in my body which is always super exciting at this time when you start to lean out really happy about that really excited for what we are bringing to this this thing is like really so annoying really excited for what we are really excited and happy for what we are bringing to the stage uh, for this show I can't wait uh, we've worked really really hard and um, I just can't wait and I'm happy to be doing it in our hometown well basically our hometown of Miami with our team it's gonna be magical I'm ready I'm ready you guys anyway I'll keep you posted on the rest of the stuff going on só não vai assustar, tá? Faz um barulho. Hi guys, say hi babe. We are at our favorite bakery. Can you see it? Puerto Rican bakery. Yes, we are three weeks out from my show and 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23 days, 23, 22. 22. And we do have a plan that we follow, but one of the best things about what we do and how we do it is that we have lots of flexibility. So here we go, I'm gonna show you what we get. We, right, you guys, you we are splitting like this, these two sandwiches between me, Ralph, and Brie. This is our first stop. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm having a quarter of this sandwich and a quarter of this sandwich, so it makes it half a sandwich. Here we go. If you're here, right, like, so you walk this way, boom, right, like you stay in that position, and then boom, then when you go that way, I would say you can face the front. Like that middle is like where we wanna showcase everything, so that's why also in case they do an eye walk, we wanna make sure that 
Like, it we flawless. showcase what we want in the middle. Sunday family stuff. I'm excited. Here we go. 